Okay, Eileen is up to her uh, you know, crazy antics, right? These are the hardest types of problems. Write this thing down, right? This down. You'll be so happy you do this. This is, this is really hard. Okay. Um, we are going to take 1.42 kilograms of ice from minus 40 to water at 20 degrees Celsius, right? So here's what we got to do. We got to go from minus 40 to zero. And here it's going to be solid ice, right? It's going to be ice. And that's going to be Q is M cat, right? Right, and then we've got to go from zero degrees ice to zero degrees liquid water, right? Okay, that's ice to water to liquid water, right? Liquid, okay. And then uh, that's going to be Q is ML. All the people with the iPods are like, what is he writing on there? Okay, and then we've got to go from 0 to 20, and this is going to be uh, water, liquid, All right? And that's going to be Q is MCAT. And we've got to add all those heats together, which can add them up, and that'll be the total heat, right? So you've got to know, a lot of things you got to know. you got to know that it's ice when it's below 0. Right? You've got to know that ice has this specific heat, which is different from steam, is different from liquid water, right? Okay, and then you've got to know that it's got to undergo a phase change. Then you've got to know that it becomes liquid water, which has what? This specific heat. So many things. People find this very, very difficult, but let's, let's do it. We, I feel up for this, right? Okay, so this heat is going to be 1.42 kilograms, right, times, uh, let's see, ice is 2100. Right, and then that delta T from f minus 40 to zero is 40, positive 40, right? And then this one's easy, this is 1.42. And then we are melting this, so this is, that's what happens at zero, right? 3.33 E5, right? And that's it, we're all done with that one. Okay, and then this guy is 1.42. I don't know why these are confusing. Okay, and it's liquid water, right? Maybe it's just you got to put it all together, right? I don't know. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's see. And then this goes from 0 to 20, right? It melted when it's... It, you got to know that it melts at 0. You also know, got to know that it boils, right? At 100. Not for this problem, but for other problems. Okay. Let's see. This is 20, right? So now I'm just going to bust this out. 1.42 times 2100 times 40. This is 119280. That's a fair amount of joules. How about 1.42 times 3.3335? Well, that's 472,360 joules. And then 1.42 times 4186 times 20 is, wow, what is that? What is that number? I can't even, I can't even wrap my mind around it. That's 118882. Uh, 0.4 joules, apparently. Right, and then what we got to do is add all these guys up, right? Okay, so 119280 plus 472860. Plus the 118882. Point 0.4. Don't forget the point 0.4. Okay, hold on. Wow, okay, so my number is such a big number. It is 711.711.022.4 joules, right? Which is. Ta da! That's what you'd write. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. That's how you'd have to write it. These are hard. That's hard. 